everyone, it's Shaw from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. In April, we kick off our spring theme. So today I am sharing some favorite spring ideas for circle time. Keep in mind that these are for a variety of ages. So what might work for one group might not work for another group. So I share some things that are good for two-year-olds and some things that will work better for pre-K. So let me show you some of our favorites and all the links to these printable activities are in this video's description. In our spring circle time packet, we have this tulip color activity. And what I did was I made this for our magnetic board. Now you can take a lot of these activities and you can do it on a felt board, you can do it on a magnetic board, or you can put craft sticks on them and you can hold them. For this activity, I wanted to have the visual up here on our magnetic board. And then I also have these here that I can hold. And so I first have the children tell me the colors of each tulip. Orange, red, blue, yellow, purple. Then, I make extra copies of all of the colors, and these ones don't have the words on them, and I pass these around. So each child has a color. And then as I go around to each child, they come up and they tap their flower to the same one that is on the magnetic board. Can you point to which one is yours? Yeah. Yellow. Yellow. Or another way you can do it is you can say, who has a green flower? Come on up and tap it. So there's several different ways you can do it. You also could make these be the, not having the craft stick on it. And instead just have it be the tulip flower, different colors, and you can put a magnetic strip on the back and then they can come up and they can just, place their magnetic flower right underneath it so that you can see how many you have of each color. And then if you have older students, you can have different amounts of each one and then you can say which color has the most, which color has the least. In our spring activities packet, we have this counting activity and it goes one to 10 and they're created so that when you cut them apart, you fold them over and then I glued them to jumbo craft sticks. So on one side, you count how many seeds are on the card and then you turn it over and then you see if you're right. So this is something you can do as a group. This probably would even work better with a smaller group because they're counting the seeds that you are holding before you turn it around to see if they're right. And this would be a really good activity for preschoolers and pre-K. And then I have this free printable on my website and it comes with solid colored flowers and then it comes with numbered flowers. So what I did was I, again, I laminated and put a little magnetic dot on the back so the numbered ones are up on the board. And I did this with the numbered because I thought this would be a great way to work on counting skills. So everyone helps me count to 10. And then if you find any flower songs that are accounting, you can have this also as a prop for that. And then another thing I did was I took the plain flowers and I passed them out to the children. So I made enough of these props so that each of the children can hold one. And if you're new to my circle time, videos. Whenever I make props for the children to hold, I put them on jumbo craft sticks. You can use popsicle sticks, just regular size if you want. I just found that the jumbo is easier for them to hold. And then I like to copy these, uh, whatever the printable is, onto heavy paper cardstock. And then I take it one step further and I laminate. And then I use thick uh, packing tape to hold it in place. The reason is, is because I want these to last for years. I don't want to have to make these over and over again. So the more durable they are, the longer they'll, they'll last. And since children are handling them, that's why it's important that they are durable as well. So they all have a flower that they're holding and then they can come up and they can tap the matching color. 
If you want to make this a number matching activity, instead of having the solid color flowers here, you can make extra copies of the numbered flowers, hand those out, and they can come up and they can match their flower by number. And on my website, I have these free bee props, again, because the children will be holding them. They're laminated and taped to Jumbo Craft Sticks. And I love using just basic props like this for when you're singing songs. This could be about singing songs about bees or reading books about bees. The children can hold on to these props. And then in our Song and Rhymes Packet, volume number two on Teachers Pay Teachers, we have Here is a Beehive props. So you can do it a few ways. If you want to have it on a magnetic board like this, you'd laminate them and you would just put a magnetic strip on back, a little dot, so that's there. Or you can do it on a cookie sheet if you'd rather. Or you can put Velcro on the back and you can put it on a flannel board. Or you can put them on craft sticks just like this. So you can then just hold the beehive and you've got the five bees here. And then what I do is I take the plain bees that are in that packet and I make enough so that each child holds one while we do the rhyme. The reason is because I have found that my students are more attentive if they're holding something that is related to what you're doing. So they're holding a bee while we're, you are reciting the rhyme. Here's a beehive and where are the bees? Hidden inside where nobody sees. Soon they'll be creeping out of the room. Can help me sing? One, two, three, four, five, and this is a free printable that's on my website. This is a bee and honeycomb activity. So you take the honeycomb and you place it in the middle of your circle. And then what you can do is you can hide these bees around the room. And as they find the bees, they bring the bees back to place on top of the honeycomb. And then when all the bees have been found and placed on the honeycomb, you can count them. In my spring circle time packet on Teachers Pay Teachers, I have these 10 little caterpillars that you can use with songs or with rhymes. And then I have this free printable on our website, these different colored butterflies. And I like to make a set that goes on my magnetic board. And then I make enough copies of these on sticks, butterflies on sticks, so that the children each have one as well. And I make sure that every color is represented. And then as they come up, they can just tap their butterfly to the matching color butterfly. In our Song and Rhymes packet, we have the Itsy Bitsy Spider, which I love to use this in the fall, in October, but I also like to bring this back out again in the spring when we're talking about bugs. So I have this as a magnetic set. Again, you can do this with putting Velcro on the back instead if you want to do it with a flannel board. And then I make enough copies of the spider so that the children can hold it while we're singing the song. So they're making their spiders move while I'm doing the motions. We're doing the Itsy Bitsy Spider up here on the magnetic board. We have the water spout, just like we have over there on the block table. And what is this one? Sun and rain. And spider. All right, you're gonna, can you sing with me? Here we go. Hold your spider up. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. There he goes. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came.
came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider. Oh, here we go. Climbed up the spout again. Oh, now he needs to go down the spout. Another spring favorite is Five Little Ducks. And so I have this as a magnetic activity with Mama Duck and her five babies. And then I also make enough of the baby ducks so that each of the children could hold one while we sing the song. Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, In our Song and Rhymes Packet, Volume 1, we have five green frogs. I do love to use this year-round, too. And so this is the prop here, and I have the five frogs. I've laminated the whole thing, and then I also have the Velcro on here, the tabs. Just be mindful of the hook and loop so that they will attach. And I'll, this is a lot like how I set up my five little friends um, activities where you want to make it so that they can be easy, you can remove them easily, but in this case they're jumping from the log down into the water. So this is a great way to work on counting as they move down. And then I also make sure to have some frogs for the children to hold too. So they have their own frog that can be hopping. This is the pool. So they're on the log and they're jumping into the pool. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a hollow log eating some most delicious frogs. What are they eating? Let's do something different. Bananas. Bananas eating some most delicious bananas. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, there is, how many? And then we have another frog activity in our five little friends jumping on a bed packet on Teachers Pay Teachers. So we have our five frogs that are on the bed and just like I was showing you with the five green frogs in the log, same thing we're using Velcro so that you can stick the frogs on there and they're easy to remove as you sing the song. And I am using mine on a flannel board, but again, you can do the magnetic board and then I make copies of the frogs. All of our five friends have plain characters so that the children have something that they can hold and they can make their frogs jump up and down while you're singing the song. And then one of our newer packets on Teachers Pay Teachers includes this Five Spotted Eggs song. So all the songs in the packet have lyrics, printable lyrics, so you don't have to worry about knowing what the words are. And then I laminated these and put them onto a felt board with Velcro. So again, you can just remove it as you sing the song. So it's all right here. And then of course, with all of, all of the um, different songs in the packet, there's also a prop that you can put together. So the children are holding, in this case, an egg while we, we remove the eggs from the nest. And then one final activity that we have, and this is from our spring packet. It's an alphabet uppercase and lowercase match. And you could set this up so you have all the uppercase on the circle time carpet and you can give each of the children a lowercase and then they can come up and they can match their letter, their lowercase, to the uppercase that's in the middle of the circle. And then of course circle times also include books. So if you've been following my circle time activities for a while you know that I like to put board books in a basket in the middle of my circle time area and as the children come to circle time as they're tra transitioning to circle 
They come and get a book and then they take it to their mat. So I change out the books that are in this basket to go with that theme. And we also have more paper books that are on our bookshelf in our circle time area. And I also have a playlist on Spotify with spring songs and some of them actually will work with these circle time props. So you can check that out and all these links are in this video's description. So these are some ideas for your spring circle time. Remember to keep in mind that these are geared for different levels. So what works for one level might not work for another. So you want to pick and choose what's going to be right for your group. Make sure to click like and subscribe as that really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.